Hey guys, welcome back to NK Beauty. Today's video uh, is, an a is actually an unboxing. I don't know if I'm going to put this one up first or the Look Fantastic one up first, but I did actually receive both my Glossy Box and my Look Fantastic box today in the mail. And this is my Glossy Box. Um, I have just finished recording the Look Fantastic box, so if I have uploaded them both at the same time, or if I uploaded that one first, then the link will be in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Uh, let's just get this, jump straight into it, really. Ooh! The glossy box looks different! I done no research this time into what everything would look like, by the way. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a Valentine's edition. It is the February one, so you can only assume. It says love on the front. Definite giveaway. It is a Valentine's edition. I'm just going to jump straight into here. And the first thing on the front is the sneak peek. Um, and that is the next month's box. And it's going to be the Neo Bay Moisturising Peeling. This is uh, what the glossy box looks like. It's got a completely different uh, paper uh, with a pink ribbon, which is a really cute, nice Valentine's touch. Let's just get this open. Oh wow, okay. Where do I even start? Let's start with the biggest thing in here, and that is a Wilkinson Sword Hydro, Sh Hydro Silk Shaver. Okay. That is this, I'll show you it, um, it is £9.99 and it says with a water activated bar of moisturising serum infused with marine extracts and shea butter this razor hydrates skin for up to two hours after shaving and the five blades leave legs super soft. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it. It is a shaver. I mean, you can never have too many of these. <laughs> I definitely say I'm almost running out of my shaver heads. So this will definitely come into handy when the time is right. The next thing in here is this So Susan uh, Lip and Cheek Cream. And it's the Rose Quart Quartet. Quartet, I think that's what it says. And this is also full size, it's £8, uh, it says pretty pinks or bold crim crimson, this versatile palette has a match for either mood. The packaging is quite nice, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's got like a black um, glossy packaging with like a rose gold, the writing is written in rose gold, and it's called the Rose Quartet, so that makes sense. Um, I would probably just use this for lips, but this is what it looks like. It comes with this little miniature lip brush, which makes sense. Um, I do not like using cream products on my cheeks, so I will not use this on my cheeks, but I will probably use it as a little flush on my lips. It looks really nice. I'm going to enjoy that. Ooh! Next here, we have an Essie nail polish. Okay, so I just rudely got interrupted by my memory card saying that it is full, so I just had to jump back, jump onto my uh, surface and basically load everything up and do all that business. But where I was, was I was getting extremely excited over this Essie nail polish that has a very different packaging. It is, I don't know what this top bit is, what is it? I don't know. Well, what is the point of that? Anyways, I'm completely obsess obsessed with this Essie nail polish. Can I speak? No. Um, I'm completely obsessed with Essie nail polish, and this is actually a really nice shade. It's like a very deep, plummy red, with this like silver going through it. And where's my card gone? There you are. And where is it? It says Rep Style Polish. Every beauty editor's favourite polish has now taken on a snake skin texture. That's what it's supposed to be then, a snake skin texture. This is a full size and it is £9.99. I'm really excited to use this. I don't know what this top bit is about though. 
Is this like a magnetic thing? It doesn't say how we use it. I think... I'm fully confused because this has like a snake skin textury looking thing and then this top bit looks like a magnet. Um, I may have to research how to use these and let you guys know because I've never seen them. I am very interested but I've no idea how to use it so definitely need to do some research into that. Next thing we have in here is this Royal Apothic. Apothic? Apothic, I don't know, Tinties, Tinties? Lip Butter. It's a tinted lip conditioner and it comes in this very fancy packaging. It's in the shade Coral. What does it say about this? This is also a full size and it's $14. Um, we discovered this quirky brand in Los Angeles uh, inspired by an old apothecary manual i don't know what that says um it's now a celebrity favorite with victoria beckham rumored to be a fan very fancy packaging can i just say it is so cute it looks like um i don't know like a very old perfume bottle style um type of thing it opens up and that is the lip balm in there or lip butter very nice not not really a shade I would usually wear, although I do actually have a very similar shade on my lips right now, which is quite odd because I never wear this orangey type of, I feel like it's a bit too in your face, but I just had to put something on quickly for the video, so <laughs> this is what I grabbed. Um, uh, I guess we'll have to see how it goes. I love the packaging, absolutely love the packaging, it's super cute. Um, the next thing in here is this mask. Sydney London Mineral Eyeshadows and this is in the shade, does it say? I don't believe it does, not on the, on the, not on there anyways. Um, this is also a full size. Okay, have they given me all full size products? All of these are full size products which is extremely surprising because that's what they did last month and I did not expect it to be a, that again this month which is quite weird. Wait. I think the So Susan one was not a full size because it, it says how much the full size is but it doesn't have like, you know how like these have the little full size things on there but then the Essie one doesn't have that but it is a full size because the full size is 13mm and this is 13.5mm. Glossy Box, you need to get your cards on point because this is not making any sense. But anyways, get, let's get back to the eyeshadow, the mineral eyeshadow and ooh. It's in this like gunmetal grey. <laughs> it's in the shade of Fifty Shades and that is so funny considering the Fifty Shades of Grey movie is coming out on Friday. Okay, I can't get it open. We're just gonna have to have a look at it in the packaging and of course I will let you know how this goes um, in my next video in the description box below. That is what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to swatch this it's i i can just or i can already tell that it's gonna be beautiful and the last thing in here is actually the um swizzles love hearts and these bring back so many memories to me purely high school memories purely because i um, I don't know if you've watched previous videos of mine, but I actually studied art for five years in my life, of my life, and one of my first ever, like, really iconic pieces was this giant love heart. It was a giant locket. It was about... I'm gonna see if I can find, try and find a picture, but for now I'll have to describe it. Um, it was a giant uh, love heart locket um, made out of wood and polystyrene, and it was shaped, it was 3D, it was, and it would open and everything. And then in the inside, I painted a picture of me and my sister in a pop art uh, sort of style. And then all across the outside was stuck these love heart sweets. I know that it 
it wasn't very hygienic or whatever and it took me forever it was throughout my whole exam that I was sitting there sticking all of these love hearts all over this piece of work and it was it was huge I don't remember how many packaging packages of love hearts it took but it definitely it was definitely worthwhile and this brings back so many memories and I love these it's yeah this is a really nice little treat to have in there glossy box you did well once again you have surprised me in a good way there is not one thing in here that I don't like um there's there's not really much I'm really happy um that is it for today's video I guess <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe for more videos. I do post them every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, depending on how quickly I can get the video up, recorded and up for you because my work schedule is a bit bleh at the moment. Right, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.